What's going on, YouTube? It's your buddy Will from the What's Up in the Sky 37 channel online, www.whatsupinthesky.com. If you have not joined the website, come over, join the website. You can even sign in with Facebook, Twitter, check the forums out. A lot of good stuff going on there. And I have owed you this update for a really long time. I have promised some of my Indian friends uh, that I was going to get these out. ISRO. The uh, Indian Space Research Organization. We know they had the uh, MOM, the MOM that they sent off, with, which is it got to Mars successfully, which was amazing on their first shot, first attempt. I mean, it was like hitting a home run. Uh, kudos to India. And if you check out old videos on it, I have just amazing. And some of the stuff they sent back was just truly amazing. And I wanted to go over these today. There's a whole bunch of new pictures. They've, uh, they haven't they have released a slew of pictures, but they have released, you know, a decent amount to show you what their uh, spacecraft has done. So I pulled them up here, and we just want to go over them real quick. Like I said, I promised you guys that I keep up with this mission, and this is one I wanted to show you, the uh, this stuff. So this is Tharsis um, Crater, which to me was just cool looking. Look at this thing right here. Um, beautiful shot. I don't have a scale on this one. A lot of them have been putting scale on it. You'll see as we kind of roll through these. But tell me that's not interesting. And the, the colors, you know, this is taken with this, like an actual real camera. So, um, you know, not not like it used to be 35 millimeter. But check out the, the structure to the inside of this crater. Just pretty neat. Uh, this was once, I think, a volcano on Mars. Pretty sure. I mean, it looks like one. And... Uh, all sorts of interesting things. The lava flows and all that good stuff. Keep on going. This is Tete. Tete Crater. North is up that way. It's just beautiful stuff. And we're just going to pretty much run through these. So if you want to hit pause and check them out a little bit more. The uh, resolution. This is right from their website downloaded. They have them all on there. If you, said, if you click below in the description you'll see it. But just amazing things. Check out this piece that runs out here. The strata. Um, from this height, we're not sure this one doesn't give us the actual, uh, the, the actual kilo, I think that, you know what I mean, the actual miles and, uh, kilometers behind it. But as we go, some of them do. So here's the kilometers right here. This is 160. This is, uh, this is the Arcea Mons. Look at these clouds. Now, I'll tell you what. If you saw this and thought this, if I said, hey, this is just Earth, or a cool picture of some clouds on uh, Earth, you would think those were clouds on Earth. Um, how many people think of clouds on Mars probably out there? Maybe my subscribers, you guys know because they're out there. Check this stuff out. It's got some really interesting uh, trails, tracks. What makes this stuff? I don't know. Here there's some interesting uh, pieces that come along. This is, like I said, this is a fairly big piece. I think that's uh, about, into miles, I think that's about 100 miles, something along those lines. So this is a very big, uh, very big area. But as you can see, a very cool one. Very interesting. Look at the uh, layering here as it comes up. Pretty cool. The, the clouds over just what gets me. It's pretty neat. Um, I haven't played with the contrast on this. Just for giggles, I haven't done it in here in so long. Adjust color. This is how I used to do my videos, right out of uh, right out of just the preview. It's amazing how far I've come. It's amazing how far I've also tried to to learn so much more about it. And now I know so much so much more about it. Some of those earlier videos, you know, make me cringe that I even put them out. But I guess that happens when you learn more and more. So. Uh, this piece down here, that S, I always find S's all over Mars. That's a pretty big S, so I'm not saying that that's one that's that's put there man-made, but it's just a beautiful area. Let's keep on going. So clouds on Mars. There's another one for another clouds on Mars video. Here's the wind streaks observed. Okay, check that out, wind streaks. This is the Kinkora crater. The Mars color camera. So this is uh, about this is a lot smaller area. So you can take some pretty high resolution images. I mean, this is India's first shot. They got it. I mean, it took us, the Americans. It took the British or the UK. It took um, Russia. I mean, it, it took 
Oh, the Soviet Union as well. Everybody's sending crabs. It took a lot of failures to get there. So, as I had said a million times, India is is just going to be blowing the space race away. They can put up satellites cheaper than cheaper than us. Uh, it's amazing their space program and how uh, far along they've come. Look at this high resolution here. This is only 15 kilometers. Uh, where are we here? This is the impact crater taken by of an incorrect. This wasn't named or anything. It's just impact crater. Beautiful. Look at like the perfect circle it makes right there. That's interesting. Another one here. I mean, it's just as perfect as can be. I always wondered about those when they're these perfect that like. I do believe that's going under not up but I might be wrong it could be something coming up from the bottom let's keep on moving along now this was kind of cool this was a 3d view they had done using some of the MCC and this see they have a this wasn't just one thing you know basically they've got the uh, the Mars color camera and they have all sorts of, of instruments on here so they really did go all out for their first shot at it this uh, Melis Chasma up here, this is where you find the demon on Mars. It's actually sitting right in that area right there. If you go to, uh, what is it, like demon face on Mars, if you search for it, you'll find it. It's really cool looking. And these are pretty high. These are these are decent sized canyons, a couple miles high. Um, over here, it's 2.2 kilometers, 4.8 kilometers. Pretty neat. And this is a neat part of Mars, all in here as well. These uh, these chasmas are these. I mean, it's like the Grand Canyon. There's just some beautiful stuff down there. As we move right along, higher resolution view for the part of the Vallis Marineris. Check this out. This is only 80 kilometers as well. So I mean, you're talking some pretty high resolution. All from a, all from their first mission. Like I said, kudos a million times over. You got. I am so excited to see what India is going to do for the space. Just because of the fact that they've they've put some of the brightest minds together and were able to do it for such a fraction of the cost of what everybody else is doing. It, it actually uh, it gives me very good hope for. You know, people like Elon Musk and people are really actually out there have some money and are trying to get stuff taken care of, you know, trying to put their stuff into space. Um, pretty cool. This is one of my favorites to look at in high resolution from the NASA images. Uh, they've, uh, like I said, the NASA, of course, the NASA satellite up there blows a lot of these out of the water. This wasn't designed to get that high resolution like the high rise was, but still, kudos. Um, just some more areas. This is a very big, very big area here on Mars. Check out what, like the the scrapings, the impact, or whatever that was that came in and laid the rest. Pretty neat. Something thrash Mars, and when you go down to the ground pictures that we have from our rovers, it's very easily seen. Um, Look at these right here. There's a lot of these long, straight paths. Pretty cool. There's one coming up. Really excited about it. Now, here's the Gale Crater. Here's where the Mars Opportunity Rover sits right now. Um, not sure exactly where. Let's see. Where's north? North is up that way. So I think we are right now. Not even going to point to it because I'm not 100% sure. But look at this over here. That's pretty interesting. Wonder how long if, if we don't get stuck trying to get caught up in the, uh, the the Gale Crater. See how smooth it is on this side, and then the dark side over here is where I think we've got all the cool buildings that we're seeing, all sorts of interesting things. But it's amazing the difference from being way up and then actually being down there on the ground. It's just that's this one was cool too. This was one of my favorites. Check this thing out here. This landmass is is either sunken in or, or brought up. I think this is actually raised. I might be wrong. Like I said, I, uh, these sometimes are tricky with the eyes. You gotta sit here and look at them for a while, but I just thought it was pretty cool looking. It's got a nice little big E up here. <laughs> like I said, from this this resolution, we're not finding anomalies. We're just, like I said, I just wanted to show you guys these beautiful images and congratulate. Basically, just give more congratulations and say the mission is still going on. They've extended it. They're still taking pictures, getting, you know, getting information back. 
look at this, the 3D quality of these. Wow. Here's another one there. Olympus Mons, a lot of stuff going on there. Once again, I think we see some more cloud cover coming off of it or a, uh, a steam. See that? Just kind of, as you can tell because the sun, even over here, is just kind of, See, when I look at this stuff, I, I see the weather. It's like, oh, my gosh, how many people think weather Mars? And people who watch our channel do, but maybe, uh, you know, now in India, you've got so many people. Down here, it looks like we've got more clouds. This is Gill Crater, Arabia, Terra. This is a fairly big, see, this is, another, this is a big one, too. Ooh, this is a pretty high resolution. So you're talking 12 kilometers for one, two, three, four. So that's basically 12 kilometers across. Beautiful stuff, beautiful stuff. Let's keep on moving right along here. I said, I promised my buddies I'd do this, and this is long overdue because the mission started so long ago. Check out that, almost perfect circles. Here it is on Earth. Right before it shot back and, and took its slingshot and, and, and shot off towards Mars, that's what it took. Beautiful. As we keep going through more. Here, see, you see the little, they were putting these little pictures, you know, here's the map of Mars. They were putting these up there for a while. Now, here was the one that came out and showed the true color of the atmosphere. And you're going to see in another one that it's not that color anymore. But this is Phobos right there. You can see Phobos is a very that potato shaped moon. That is just, uh, it's so interesting. It, I, I've always been in very, it's got a monolith on it. I mean, it's got an actual monolith on it. Phobos monolith, you can look it up. It, it's uh, it's clear as day. It's, it's just a potato-shaped thing just going around this planet. It's, you know, almost looks like at one point it was put there artificially. Who knows? More beautiful. And see that now when they point it over here? They don't show you, they show you that, you know, I think this is not the color of Mars. I believe that is. Um, we see it like this in our telescopes, usually. Um, so, when you see this, you wonder if the tweaking's been done, how it's actually been done. And that one was before it. Now, we've looked at all these on the channel so far. Some real interesting pieces coming down through here. Almost looks like some, some running water. Interesting, just beautiful. Henry Crater. This one's, actually, I blew it up. See, so yeah, that's about the resolution of it. Now, here's what I said. This is more the color, I think, we're supposed to be looking at here when we're looking at Mars. These these more are the colors that I see. Um, and I'm not sure why we got different colors from different pieces, but check these, these pieces out through here. They run long. Interesting stuff. At least for someone like me who loves looking at these pictures. And I was just, you know, we had, we didn't know what was going to happen. If they were going to make it there. If the craft would just, you know, explode as it got in there and just been taken up by the atmosphere of Mars. And, or just shoot right past it. I mean, the, for first time, the Indian engineers did an amazing job. And once again, that's all that they've put out so far. And here's the website where my buddies always send me over and say, hey, we got some new ones. When are you going to get a video out? And I said, congratulations, India. Welcome, 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 welcome to the Mars group. I tell you, there's so much. If we, if, if we could like get our governments out of the way and put all of our minds together and maybe even do it um, as, a, as just a, a group of citizens of the world and you know and and start the space race out even more we want to go to mars elon musk says he's going to do it there's all sorts of uh people shooting for it but our governments aren't going to do it especially here in america where you've got to deal with political changes in our i mean the first off there's probably a secret space you know like i said we, we're supposed to have a secret space program here that can take E.T. back to the moon, or take E.T. back home, if you uh, talk to our skunk works, uh, used to work at, at um, what was that company, 
uh, what will skunk works? Oh, I got you guys are going to tell me like, like the computer is going to tell me. But once I, I hit cancel on a video, somebody will tell me and somebody will tell me down below. That's what I love about YouTube. I sit here and talk to you guys like I uh, like you're here in the room with me. But once again, I'm going to link this up below. Thank you guys. Thank you, India, for, you know. For your efforts, you know, we can put satellites in space now, and you've got customers coming to you because you do a hell of a job at it, and uh, you do it a lot cheaper than most places. So congratulations, hats off. The hat's actually off today for you. <laughs> Much love to you guys. Heading out to Tampa. Had a long weekend. Check out. I was on other side of Midnight Radio Show. We did fakes on Mars, or fake like basically fake anomalies that people are putting out. Um, if you didn't check that out, you can get the, uh, he's got a 19.5, uh, it's five bucks a month on his website, the uh, other side of midnight.com. It was a really good one, or at least you go there and check out the articles that we put up. Um, the articles are, 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 well, there's so much fake stuff going out there. It's muddy in the waters. People are taking good researchers images and actually, uh, you know, fudge, fudging them up with, uh, what you, you know, art. So, and they're not labeling it art. So, all right, guys, much love to you. Once again, ISRO, you guys rock India. I told you I'd get this to you guys. All right, much love. Peace.